YouTube. This is IO Monster or the Cubed, and I'm giving you a quick status update for the Cyanogen Mod 9 on HTC Vivid. Let's turn this on real quick. You can see it does see that I'm on AT&T. I have a prepaid SIM in here right now. Let me unlock it. Okay, you can see the signal strength works. Uh, we have no Wi-Fi. No Bluetooth, no mobile data, uh, no sound, no camera, and uh, I think that's about it. Alright, let's have a quick demo here. System settings, about phone. Synergy has been doing an excellent job of this so far. He's been pretty much the driving force behind this recently. And a lot of this is thanks to him. So you can see his name and everything. It's awesome. Battery status works. Shows network. Shows signal strength. Alright. For whatever reason, Maps keeps trying to run. Wi-Fi does not work, as you can see. Um, mobile data does not work. I can't add an APN as much as I try. It seems to be a problem with the reel. We'll fix that later. In fact, the build that's going right now should fix that. We'll see. Sound doesn't work. Nothing. However, the dialer does indeed work. You can receive calls. You can place calls, but since there's no audio, it doesn't really do you any good. You can send and receive text messages, though. Let me do a uh, balance check. Uh, or check my data usage. Should be nothing. All right. Yep. I had said that earlier. messaging works. I can send a text message. Uh, I don't have a phone for you to get a text message on. Uh, let's see here. Let's go back through system settings. Oops. to display and we'll go to brightness automatic brightness does indeed work you can turn up the brightness all the way up and all the way down set it back to automatic and let's see if we cover it up okay there you go you see the notification lights turned on or the uh, uh, buttons on the bottom turned on if I give it back normal light, it should turn off. Yeah, see? Let's see here. The animations work. The only bug that I've noticed so far is this lock ring. When you change its settings, it doesn't work quite right. And there's another that's strange. There's another uh, icon. So you notice how it clicks to that one immediately. If I go down here, it goes to the bottom too. It's just kind of off the edge of the screen. Okay, let's launch a couple applications. Let's go to camera so you can see. No camera. Oops. Uh, back to 
the settings one more time. To show you, uh, SD card mounting is not working for now. It's an easy fix. Storage, you saw that. Apps crashes too because it can't find the SD card. I don't know yet if GPS works. We need data, obviously. Uh, date and time, all that good stuff works, of course, as you can tell. It is indeed 2.19 in the morning. Uh, multitasking is pretty cool. It does indeed work on here. Had a whole bunch of things open. Performance. I haven't messed around with these yet. I really haven't. Uh, but I have a feeling that they'll work. Synergy compiled a kernel for this, and I think he included overclocking support. It looks like almost 2 gigahertz. I'm not going to mess with that now. Alright, uh, if there's anything else you guys want me to give you a demo of, just leave a comment and I will try to get back to you guys. Uh, once again, special thanks to Synergy for basically picking up this project. He's carried it a long way so far and uh, everything's been going very smoothly. Alright, thank you all for watching the video.